So enslaved peoples built communities uh, in several in several ways. So I think some of the common narratives of of slavery that emerge have to do with enslaved peoples as labor, as it concerns the kinds of labor they provided every day. But enslaved people's lives extended far beyond what they did in terms of the work they provided on plantations or, or farms. So yes, the working day tended to be exhausting, tended to be very taxing, but then there's still life to be lived after that. There's still friends that one has, there's still family, there's still dinner that needs to be made, there's still time um, that's reserved for telling stories, for teaching fellow enslaved people how to read, learning how to read, time for making music, playing instruments, dancing, singing, as it concerns religious communities, reading the Bible if some enslaved person is literate and has either a Bible or pages from a Bible. Um, reading that in the hearing of other enslaved peoples, um, traveling preachers sometimes coming through and, and enslaved peoples listening uh, to, to different sermons. You have many instances where enslaved peoples engaging in activities or practices outside of, of their laboring lives in many of those spaces and as they engage many of those activities, you find different kinds of enslaved peoples coming together, building community, really kind of experiencing and helping one another carry this, this burden of what it meant to be an enslaved person at whatever place they were at whatever time um, they, they were enslaved.